Championship Finals. I've got a pretty good team. I feel like I've got a lot of balance, a lot of uh, uh, flexibility in what I have to offer and what my team can do. So let's go. And let's uh, take a look at the team real quick before we do. So I've got Arcanine, Rillaboom, Aegislash, Vaporeon, Glaceon, and Beware. All of whom I'm pretty comfortable with. I've got their moves basically the way I want them. I do want to take a quick look at... Uh, do I have a Psycho Cut TM or something like that? Any kind of move. I can give Aegislash to expand his coverage a little bit. It'd be great if I could give him X Scissor. Uh, can't learn Dragon Claw. He can learn Brutal Swing, but he already knows a Steel move and a Fighting move. And it's only 60 damage, too, so it's not that good. Cross Poison would be another good move to teach him, but he can't learn that either. Uh, just don't have that many good moves he can learn as far as TMs. All right, it's fine. He'll be fine. I've got good coverage. Let's go. Hop is here. Hi, Hop. Ice pick. Oh, he's just showing me in? All right. This is it. Here at Wyndham Stadium, the greatest stadium in Alcalar, you're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. That's true. Uh... Anybody who Arcanine runs into is definitely going to be set on fire. Oh yeah, let's talk to Ball Guy. Dream Ball. Makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Cool. Thanks, Ball Guy. Challenger Ice Pick. We've been waiting for you. Since you're one your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to the locker room now? I have no idea which gym leader I'm going to wind up facing to start with. Uh, so let's just hope it's somebody that our canine can beat. Actually, maybe I'll find out when I go to the locker room, actually. The gym leaders are all here. Oh, uh, can I look at the bracket? Nope. I can't enter the break room, I guess? Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this, this is serious battle. I'd say I aim to win this thing. I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride and see them smile once again mask. Looks like it's going to fall off. I'm going to win my way through every round, and then I'll be the take one taken on Leon. If I don't, I'll fail to replace Duraludon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Raihan, of all people? What rotten luck. Even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. Hey, it's Kabu. I'll always press on and challenge myself so I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. Alright. Opal's not here, I notice. But I guess that's because she's making B to the gym leader there. When you're ready, please head for the pitch. I wonder which one of these people I'm going to be facing. I know it's not Milo, because he's facing Raihan. Hope it's Melody then, since uh, then RK9 will have the advantage. Alright, here we go. Opening ceremony. No turning back. If I lose this, I have to train up a whole team. Let's go. Granted, I've got a lot of good Pokemon I can train up and grind up, but I really don't want to have to grind up a whole new team. That's not very much fun. 
It's also not very good video either. Let's just let him talk, huh? All right. Who's first? Wait, you! Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I'm Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Oh, he's the one endorsed by the chairman himself. I have a score to settle with challenger Ice Pig here. I'm aware this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stick my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events! Former Challenger Bede has come for one last battle! We're currently debating what to do with Challenger Bede. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something, do something. Ever since you've shown up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And that strange old lady comes out of nowhere, drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you. I never lost my cool before! We reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bede's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to go stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Ice Pick? My will hasn't been broken yet. Unexpected. I thought I was going to be fighting one of the other gym leaders. But I guess he's the fairy gym leader. He gets a chance. Alright, here we go. Oh, yes! RK9 first pays off again. <laughs> we face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. Then you shouldn't have started with a steel type, bro. Bye bye. Even the intimidate's not gonna be enough to resist this. <laughs> what else you got? Bring out the fairies. Okay, psychic fairy. Um, somebody with a dark move. Well, technically speaking, RK9 does, but I don't want him out there for this anymore. But Weir has a dark type move, but that's not a good move here. It's going to have to be Aegislash, I think, because he's got the Iron Head. Because he's got a steel move, that should be enough to take out this Gardevoir. Wish! Gardevoir made a wish. We'll see if it comes true. But if the wish was anything but getting knocked out by an Iron Head, then it probably isn't coming true. Who's next? Rapidash, pure psychic type. RK9 is healed up now from his attack lower. Uh, but um, I think I'm going to stall this one since uh, Rapidash probably only has special moves. Uh, Vaporeon can just kind of tank. All right, Vaporeon, start yourself out with an Aqua Ring. Oh, that's right, I can't use status moves while wearing that vest. I'll have to change that out. That's fine. That's a physical move. Not too bad, though. All right. 
Oh, the wish. Irritating. Okay, we're now in crit death range for Vaporeon. So I'm going to go ahead and do a heal here. I miscalculated on this fight. Vaporeon's still, generally speaking, in good shape, and Brine doubles in power when the enemy is below 50% health, so that will be enough to get rid of this thing. What else you got? Hatterene. Uh, it's the same typing as the Gardevoir, so Aegislash is going back out there. That calm expression. I think you're going to win. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Hey, you better shudder. You got another iron head coming your way. Oh, uh, I forgot about Gigantamax again. If uh, Aegislash survives this attack, then I will go ahead and. Uh Go ahead and uh, max him out, too. Never mind! Don't even need it! Uh, I didn't mean to totally disrespect Bead there, but uh, that's kind of exactly what I did. All right, uh, good shit, Aegislash. You are validating your place in my party every time that happens. Couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Yeah. Good job. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Ice Pick and his trusted team. Hey, Bead, that was a great match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. Everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Well, I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Ms. Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Ice Pick, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up from that unexpected match. Cool. Rather surprising for Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. No gym leaders to talk to. Kind of a bummer. Can I look at this? I want to look at this. I need to know who I'm fighting. Ah, oh, you people are assholes. Okay. Uh, looks like we have been healed up. That's nice. All right, so now the finals can actually begin. And we'll see if my continued gamble of throwing RK9 out there first continues to pay off. It worked great that time. Let's see if it keeps going. So, which gym leader am I up against? The only one I know it's not is Milo and Raihan. <clears throat> The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Iceberg. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. All right, so I guess I shouldn't have left RK9 in there, but I didn't know who I was fighting. I could tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it out to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Oh, I was hoping for anyone but Nessa. Gosh, now I have to swap out. At least we get some more great music. Actually... This doesn't have a... This is a 
uh, because uh, it's bug water. So I would flare blitz would be normal effectiveness, but I'm not about to gamble on that. We're gonna switch out and we're gonna play it safe here. Uh, bug is also super effective against Rillaboom, and I assume this guy's got a bug move. I would eat. I'll eat a water move to start this, and then it's just gonna. And grass isn't even super effective against it, so that's not really an answer in any case. In fact, I really don't have any good answers for this, except for Glaceon. Because Glaceon has freeze dry. And freeze dry is super effective against water types. Good job taking that hit, Glaceon. Now, show him a freeze dry. So long! Nice. I knew I kept that move for a reason. Good job, Glaceon. Glaceon's got really high defense, too. Uh, sea King. Sea King's another physical attacker. Glaceon can handle this, too. Another freeze dry should take care of business. I'm going to sweep your damn team with an ice Pokemon, Nessa. Uh, that's another physical attacker. Let's go. Good job. Okay, I'm probably going to swap out after this one. I don't want to take too much of a risk and have Glaceon go down. At this point, a crit might take him out. But he did some badass work in this fight. Took out three all by himself. Oh, it's a Pelipper. I don't have to worry about a Pelipper. Tell you what. I'm going to leave Glaceon out there, and I'm going to throw Glaceon a potion. Just so I feel a little bit more comfortable. And then I think I'm going to use a hail, actually. <laughs> uh, but first, let's heal. I'm going to play it safe. No risk. Generally speaking, Polipper's a really, really weak Pokemon. I'm not expecting too much trouble from it. Yeah, it's just setting up for her next Pokemon. That's all this thing is doing. All right, so let's throw out some hail then. So what is your ability, Glaceon? Snow Cloak. Boost evasiveness in a snowstorm. Very cool. Right. I know her last Pokemon is going to be the... Uh, um, the turtle thing. Oh, you know what? I just realized Freeze Dry is going to be like quad effective on this thing. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. No risk. A crit would kill. Just heal up. This is why I have a hundred hyper potions. <laughs> Alright. Now freeze dry and get this thing out of my map. Get this thing out of my map. <laughs> It's frustrating that gym leaders are even using Polipper. I get it. It makes it rain, which is useful, but the rest of its stats are so terrible. It should not be on a gym leader's team. The hail stopped. That's perfect. Because I actually don't plan on using Glaceon against the Dreadnought. Because Freeze Dry will lose its special ability when I go to Giant. So we're going to switch 
him out. We're going to go to Rillaboom instead. But hey, great work, Glaceon, uh, eliminating that team. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. I've got a trick for you, too. Let me show it to you. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Gigantamax. That's a pretty cool Gigantamax Pokemon you've got there. Very cool looking, actually. I highly approve. In fact, I admire it so much, I'll show you my own Gigantamax. It's the least I can do. Go ahead and, uh... Rillaboom, if you would be so kind. Okay, first, take the Max Darkness hit. No big deal. And now, uh, if you would be so kind, Rillaboom, and play him out. Down goes Nessa. Round one, complete. He had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder you won. And the winner is Icepick. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd pay more attention to what she was talking about. But everyone in Galar's got their eyes on you now. You feed my team, so now you've got no way. You've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go away anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. These are the results of the first round. So I defeated Nessa, and now I have to fight Alistair in the second round. On the other side, it was Piers, B, and Raihan who are going to be coming out. Alistair's, Alistair's next, huh? Okay. Who do I have for that? Arcanine's a good choice. He's got a dark move. But Beware is perfect. Because Beware has normal typing. And uh, thus completely immunes out ghost moves. And he's also got a dark move. So he's a great choice for this. All right. Cool, cool. On to the second round. We're gonna take on Alistair. Oh, wait. I'm healed up, right? Yeah, I'm healed up. Uh, actually, do you have full PP, Glaceon? Yeah, okay. Cool, let's go. All right, time to take on the ghost kid again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champions Cup as the former gym challenger, Bede, stormed the stage. But Ice Pick was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now, to take him on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school-age star. Malister, you look well. I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. Uh, so I reckon we should should battle. <laughs> Here we go. More badass music. Starting out with a dust noir. Okay. 
Time to punch your ghosts in the face. Everyone's looking. I want to hide, but I'll fight. Okay. So my whole plan here is to just pay back my way through this whole fight. Here we go. Rock Tomb. All right, that's going to be not very effective. I'm not sure why you chose to do that. Beware is going slow already. I made sure Beware goes slow. Oof. That was like the worst move you could have done. Go ahead and crit him too. Let's make it complete. Good job, Beware. Good start. About to send out Chandelure. Okay, Beware's ability means he takes double damage from fire moves. So we're going to move Beware out of there. We're going to go to somebody else. In fact, Arcanine's the best choice here because of Crunch. Gym leader also sent out Chandelure. Very strong uh, special attacker, Chandelure. Crunch. One hop? Not quite. Okay. Shadow Ball. Okay, this will sting, but Arcanine's a beefy boy. Or girl, in my case. Not a problem. Survived it with no trouble. One more crunch gets us out of this. No problem. I guess I could have put in Vaporeon for that, actually. Hindsight's 2020. Oh, I also forgot to swap out Vaporeon's, uh, uh, Vaporeon's, uh, item. I need to do that. Glaceon also leveled up. Cursola, that's just pure ghost type, I believe. Uh, we will leave Arcanine in there, then. Continue with the crunching, if you please, my dear RK9. One shot, one kill. Good job. Who is next? Ego Slash leveled up, too. Very cool. Pull T Geist, pure ghost type. Uh, let's go ahead and swap RK9 out. He's kind of hurt, and I've still got Beware at full health. Or almost. Close enough. Alright. Go ahead and just eat whatever he throws at you, Beware, and then payback. Oh. <laughs> didn't even attack. He's nasty plot. Okay. Well, let's see if payback's enough to just knock him out by itself. Yup. <laughs> I'm glad, too, because setting up a nasty plot is kind of terrifying. That thing's got a gigantic special attack. Okay, and now it's his Gengar. Okay. Gengar, I uh, don't get the benefit of Beware's, uh, the double effect from Payback here. But I still think he's the best choice for this fight. Because he automatically resists a lot of what Gengar does. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. Here we go. This time I'll remember to go to Max. <laughs> Gengar, Gigantamax. Swallow everything in darkness. By the way, Alistair is left-handed. I don't know if any of the other gym leaders are. But you see, he's got his glove on his left hand. So, I don't, I, I, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if any of the other gym leaders use their left hand. It makes me wonder. Well, Beware is going second by default. Gengar's a fast Pokemon besides. But Beware goes second because that's what I, I have him do. That's the item I have him equipped with. It makes him go second. Boom. It's time for Cuddles. Max Ooze, okay, that's a poison physical attack. Beware's got really good physical defense, so he, she is totally fine. Now it's time for uh, our dear, dear Mama Bear to give you a hug. 
Oh, was that hug too much? Not quite, it actually did survive the hug. But it's okay, because I have more hugs. Oof, that actually hurt. Oh yeah, because it raises his special attack, that makes sense. Unfortunately, it's time for hugs. Lethal hugs. Alright, round two down. The odds are pretty high in favor of me having to face Raihan. Uh, I love Pierce, but he's vowed not to Dynamax, so... Raihan's probably gonna kick his ass. But I have a Glaceon. And so, I feel like I've got a pretty good answer for Raihan. Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong they really are. You got some money that doesn't matter at this point in the game. Challenger Icepick has done it again. What a performance. He sails right through. Crumbs. That was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Our seemingly unstoppable challenger is headed for the final round, but who will he meet there? I will bet anyone who's watching this video $10 at this moment that it's going to be Raihan. Will it be I pass on Dynamaxing Piers or the Dragon Lord himself, Raihan? The next max will decide it, so don't go too far from your screens. Yeah, obviously Raihan. <laughs> well, Raihan gloriously defeated Piers. Yeah, we sort of figured that was going to happen. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Icepick. I thought my broker could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak because you are related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Yo, I already did that. <laughs> I whipped B without it. Whatever. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Icepick. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just for the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. Am I healed? The question is, should I start with Glaceon or should I start with Vaporeon? Because I don't know what I don't know what he starts with. First things first, though, I need to change out Vaporeon's held item because I totally forgot about that. That Vaporeon can't use uh, can't use Aqua Ring while using that item. So as cool as it is, it's not really good for me. I wish I had a leftovers, but through the entire game. I haven't found a single leftovers. Which sucks. Right, we'll give uh, we'll give Vaporeon the Rocky Helmet back. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Glaceon. We'll see if we can sweep this guy. Glaceon's got really good physical defense too. So most Dragon types use physical. So let's see how let's see how uh, Glaceon does. This is. This is the real test for Glaceon. Basically, this is it. Let's do this. I cannot run straight through the tunnel. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, challenger Ice Pick? I will be only trainer champion Leon calls his rifle, the Tamer of Dragons, Raihan. Show really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. Guess why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival. He chose you. So I gotta first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team. Now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already. But if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Okay, so that means you replaced your worthless Pelipper. Is that correct? <laughs> Torkoal. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. 
We're going to go ahead and uh, just uh, jump over to Vaporeon real quick. That's Drought. Gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Yes, I know. Uh, so, hey, Vaporeon, bro. You want to come pay us a visit here? That's really annoying that he put out Torkoal first. It's fine. Vaporeon's here. Oh, that's interesting. It gets to do that first. Good thing Vaporeon's got such a massive special defense, otherwise this could be fatal. But because Vaporeon does have massive special defense, it did like a third of his health. Let's get rid of that sun. Okay, that wastes a turn for Torkoal. It also gets rid of some of the effectiveness of that move. Go ahead and set yourself up with an Aqua Ring Vaporeon. Here comes that solar beam, but it's not going to be as effective now. <laughs> Half as effective, even. Vaporeon's in good shape now. I'm honestly, I feel so good about this situation, I'm just going to heal up Vaporeon with a Hyper Potion. Waste a turn. If I had started with Vaporeon like I thought I should have, it would have been fine. Okay, I'm annoyed. All right, so Vaporeon's going to fall asleep at the end of this round, regardless of what I do. So let's at least try to take out this Torkoal first. Which uh, Vaporeon did with a plum. So what's he putting out next? Is it time to go to Glaceon yet? Because I don't know if I can keep Vaporeon out there with it sleeping. Okay, it's a Gudra. Gudra's going to try and benefit from the water. It is time for vape. It is time for Glaceon. All right, Ice Beam, please. Not a one hit kill. Muddy water is going to be painful. Not painful enough. Lowered accuracy. That's no good. It does mean I can't use Blizzard right now. Uh, because my accuracy is already a little bit down. Uh, with Blizzard. But an Ice Beam with only one accuracy down shouldn't be a problem. Took care of it. Good job. Now, of course, though, Glaceon's down on a little bit of health, which is troubling. And has the accuracy lowered, which is also troubling. Okay, Turtonator is the uh, fire dragon, so wouldn't want Glaceon out there anyway. The only thing I have that's going to handle that... I mean, Vaporeon is actually an amazing choice here, but Vaporeon is asleep. So I'm going to try to avoid putting Vaporeon out there. We're going to go with Beware and just... Oh, wait a minute. That's not a great choice because this guy does fire damage. So that was a mistake, and I'm, just, I'm actually just going to switch to Vaporeon. This will bait out a fire move, though, and it won't hurt Vaporeon that much. So that at least is okay. But I am going to have to spend a turn healing up Vaporeon's uh, sleep. Because I can't just sit there and take hits. Set a shell trap. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's if I attack you. Okay, cool. That worked out then. I assume that's what that does anyway. I don't actually know. But anyway, let's get Vaporeon awake. Okay, he used Sunny Day. I don't like that. I'm going to make it go away. I'm going to make it rain instead. You got to have a taste of Sunny Day. If you got a plan to counter it. Yeah, dude, my Vaporeon actually literally already countered one of your moves that does that. So I'm just going to do it again. Again, I'm not attacking you, bro. I 
I don't know what that counters. Is it does it counter physical or uh, special moves? I honestly don't know. I've never seen it use that before. I refuse. You're not allowed to do that. I refuse. It's raining. Cue Captain America. I can do this all day. Now he's going to use Sunny Day again, which buys, buys me a round to use Brine. And then I'll make it rain again. Then he's going to use Sunny Day again, and I'll Brine him. And I don't have to worry about what that Shell Trap does. So, Rain, rain Dance again. This way, I don't even have to find out what the shell trap does. I just kind of circumvent it. I don't want it to be sunny. I want it to be rainy. <laughs> now you have to use sunny day again because that's what your programming tells you. And I use Brian and you're dead. Okay, good job, Vaporeon. And you even have Rain Dance still active. That's very helpful. Flygon. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, Flygon is probably going to use Sandstorm, but Vaporeon has Ice Beam, so I should be able to one-shot this guy. Flygon's another one of my favorite Pokemon. I really wanted to use one, uh, but I was unable to catch a Trap Inch, so it didn't happen. Anyway, there's the Sandstorm that I fully expected. Yeah, I know. Nice Sandstorm. It's very pretty. Here's your Ice Beam. Your complimentary ice beam. Thanks for playing Flygon. We'll see you in the next battle. And now he's going to put out the Duraludon. Uh, for whom the answer for me? Uh, I guess I could just leave Vaporeon out there. Um, I don't think it has anything super effective against Vaporeon. Uh... It's also going to be slower than Vaporeon. Fuck it. Vaporeon's already got the Aqua Ring active. This is a great opportunity here. You do realize I'm the great Raihan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon. Just you wait. Alright, go ahead and Gigantamax your big fucker. I'll match you. And I'm going to use Max Geyser to get rid of the Snowstorm. Uh, the Sandstorm. I guess actually I probably should have done Max the ice move because that would have created hail. Oh well, I'll use it next. Put out your skyscraper Pokemon. I'm gambling the Vaporeon can handle whatever you're gonna throw at him. Vaporeon's going to have like 400 hit points. <laughs> 364. Nice. Alright, that is definitely not a uh, super effective or even stab move. So that doesn't feel too bad. The boost to attack is a problem. Well, let's get rid of this sandstorm first of all. Okay. Okay. And then the Aqua Ring is going to do some work. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the Max Hailstorm. Not very effective. Water typing, very effective here. Okay, that's got him pretty low, and it's hailing now. Which means Duraludon's going to go down next round no matter what. Oh, not bad changing the weather to hail like that. 
Vaporeon takes a little damage too, but Aqua Ring brings it right back. And then let's do one more Hailstorm and get out of this fight. Rockfall. Okay, that's gonna bring it back to a Sandstorm again. But Vaporeon is fine. Can outlast this thing. I'd be in so much better shape if I could get a freaking Leftovers, though. That would be better than the Rocky Helmet for Vaporeon. Down goes Raihan. Again. Beware also got to level up. Good shit, Vaporeon. Uh, losing to the finals was pretty rough. I suppose I better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger Ice Pick seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon have become so much stronger than we were before. You blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. You got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 26, Challenger Ice Pick has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. All right. The big moment's finally here, eh? He's got Inteleon with him. Just keep to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. Draws the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should really want to win more? What? Right, you reckon I should cheer for Ice Pick too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone could beat the unchamp unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. What? <laughs> he says what? <laughs> the title of this episode, now with 100% more what? <laughs> Everybody healed up? Yep, looks good. Opening up with Glaceon seems fine. Uh, I don't really remember what Leon has. Uh, it'll be fine. Nope. Still can't run straight. I mean, the one thing I know Leon does have is his Charizard. And he's got a Cinderace because that he took the score bunny at the beginning. So, the Vaporeon's for those. I just don't remember the other stuff. The tent's still air on the pitch. The exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. They can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer, seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. All right, here we go. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's that on the big screen? Hello there, Leon on Ice Pick. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. Uh, for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Lee, Ice Pick! 
That video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. Should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. <coughs> Yikes, my voice is starting to go. But Lee, your terrible directions you get lost along the way. I want to help my brother, Ice Pick. I've got to. I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Well, we just gotta try, right? But what? What can I even do? Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What do you mean he's bringing that about? Where'd we even hear that name? Ah, uh, Motostoke, right? Yeah, the statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Turned out to be wrong, since there are actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokémon. Sonia thought the Pokémon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Ice Pick. Where to start looking? I mean, I know the answer to this, so I'm just gonna go and select it. That's it! I'm sure it's got to be the Slumbering Wield. The illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokémon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. And I can visit my mom. I haven't talked to her in, like, months. So I actually haven't... Oh, well, we're already here. Okay. Haven't actually, uh... Done a catch in the Slumbering Wield, because I wasn't able to before. So I am going to try and catch a, mon um, a Masharna there, since I have kind of a lack of Psychic types. Forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament's off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that, and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the Slumbering Wield? Well, for starters, there's a great back storm or something raging over Hamelock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's sort of everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on, Tick Ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Ice Pick? Oh, uh, I'm looking for the shield Pokemon. Suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. That may be just what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Slumbering Wield. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Three free money. In we go. So like I said, I'm going to avoid encounters uh, until I see a Mosharna. That's my plan. Ready for this ice pick? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going to the forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's hit in and add another page to our tale. For sure. Alright, do I have any Pokemon that can learn False Swipe? Nobody else is really high enough level at this point, and I'm not going to go do grinding to get somebody up. That just does not seem like good. A good way to spend some time here. Okay, cool. These guys can learn it. Uh, and I can always just relearn something else. Go back to the move trainer and learn something else. So we're going to put it on uh, Ega Slash. I really... <laughs> I caught that dream ball from the, uh, from the ball guy. It'd be really cool to catch a Masharna in a dream ball. Okay, so I need to I need to use a repel here to ensure that I don't run into any of these guys. I got repels in here somewhere, right? Yeah, I got one. Well, it's something.
I need to get to the deeper part where the higher level Pokemon are. Okay, clear there. Gotta get through one more. And go this way. Okay. Let's go ahead and put Aegislash up front. Okay, we've hit the higher level Pokemon now. I know a Masharna is a one that just floats around. Well, there's a Mana. Well, I mean, a Mana is a Mana is fine too, because Mana evolves into Masharna, so you know. All right, here we go. I want to catch it with a Dream Ball so bad. All right, false swipe. I don't know if I'm ever going to wind up using it, but I want to catch it anyhow. You know, as a backup in case the worst happens. I'm only going to get one chance at the Dream Ball, but I will catch this thing. Okay. You're going to fall asleep, but go ahead and use False Swipe here. Get him down to one health. Go. That's gonna be not very effective because steel type. All right, only one chance at the at the dream ball here. It'd be really cool to catch one of these in a dream ball. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, well I'll just use regular pokeballs then, or you know regular relative term. I've got some Ultra Balls for this. It's fine. I really wanted that Dream Ball to work, though. That would have been so cool. To have a Mana and a Dream Ball it would have been so perfect. It's fine. I caught the Mana. All right, there's my catch for the Slumbering Wield, finally. Mana's data will be added to the Pokedex. Mana can go to a box. Mana will be, if I have a wipe, Mana will go into my team. I promise you that. I'm actually going to use this uh, Max Out Vaporeon's uh, Dynamax candy, Dynamax level. Uh, because um, the one I'm going to Dynamax in the fight with Leon is going to be Vaporeon. So I do want him to have, yes, the max level of Dynamax. That's what I wanted to make sure I had. So that's all well and good. We're also going to heal up our dear friend Aegislash here. And then I'm going to also wake her up and we press on. Oh man, and there's a special mana. What are the freaking odds, man? I caught the wrong mana. It's fine. It's fine. Mental herb? Cool. Oh, hey. Galarian Weezing. Very cool. Two of them. Three of them. Lots of Galarian Weezing here. Smoke ball. Always able to run away. Very good move. Very good thing. Uh, run around. There's a Corviknight. Man, those things are big. Here's Hop. Hi, Hop. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. And it just rolled in, too. They really are here. A sword and shield Pokemon. I knew it. Uh, 
and then they're gone. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? Well, come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon. They were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There's no one here but the two of you. What? Were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon, Zacian, and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the Slumbering Wheel sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Ta, Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here too. And Hop runs off. Zacian and Zamazenta. They may have been sleeping in the slumbering wheel right next to your hometown all this time. Perhaps that's why no one has entered the deepest parts of these woods for so long. I thought there might be something over here. Bummer. Pressing on. Big time Master Sword vibes here. Would you take a look at that ice pick? That's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Yeah, that's true. A sword and a shield. See that ice pick? The sword and the shield. The legends were really true. Well, I'm playing shield, right? So, obviously I'm going to take the shield. You obtained a rusted shield. It is said that a hero used the shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. Well, that settles it. I'm taking the sword. Oh, wow. Would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. I totally forgot, too. I need to go get my fossil Pokemon. I completely forgot about that. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. He's probably still at Hammerlock Stadium, trying to keep the darkest day at bay. So what do you say, you want to grab a flying taxi to head right there? Can't say I blame you. Even I'm a bit gutted to have come all this way chasing legends only to find a rusty old sword and shield. True. <coughs> Yeah, no, that's because I need to fly and uh, go get my Pokemon. Because I totally forgot to do that. So let's fly to Route 6 real quick. And then I'll pop. Can't fly call a flying taxi to where you are now. Oh, is it going to make me do this first? Can I walk out of here? Okay, it's going to let me walk out. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Totally skirting what the game wants me to do here, but that's fine. Also, you can catch Pokemon uh, with the pole in here. I didn't realize. Good to know for the future, in case I ever decide to play this game again, which I may do. I may do. Um, like I, obviously, at this point, this run isn't going to do Cloud Tundra. Probably not, uh, because at this point, um, I'm shooting for. Making sure I finish this game. Honestly, I'm probably just going to finish it tonight. Um, uh, making sure that uh, I finish this game in time to start up a Pearl run when it unlocks on the Switch. And about looking at my calendar, as of today's recording, 12 days from now on the 17th. So I have to make sure that I'm ready for that. Um... I may, uh, wow, I finally, 
I finally run into Pokemon here, and it's the rarest one that you can catch in this part of the Slumbering Wield. Because of course it is. I didn't mean to run into it. I already caught my catch here, so it's a moot point. Ran right into the Rookie D. Oh, this is just delaying things. I just want to go get to the Route 6, get my Arcto, uh, Dracozolt is what I've decided on. And then end this episode and then come back. That's my plan at this point. But I gotta get out gotta get out of here for that. And I need to quit running into wild Pokemon because it's slowing me down. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, come on. I'm tired of running into wild Pokemon. That's why I used the freaking repel earlier, but I only have one. You think I would have more than that since I'm running a Nuzlocke, but eh. At this point, I've already done it. Right. Now then. Town map. Pop on over to Route 6. I'll also say for sure, if I do, if I have a party wipe against Leon or otherwise, I will for sure use this uh, Dracozolt in my party. Yes, I will show you my fossils. Fossilized bird. And I need to make sure I get the right one here. Uh, Dracozolt is Drake. Okay. Wanted to make sure I got the right one. I have to follow the rules after all. All right, I'll stick them together. Here we go. Objective complete. Seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it in its eyes. This is a Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take care for this Pokemon, huh? You received Dracozolt. As planned. Funny looking motherfucker, isn't he? But it does cover a couple of type weaknesses that I have. If both uh, Dragon and Electric. Uh, no need for a nickname. But as I said, I will use Dracozolt in my party if I have a party wipe. So that's two spots. Mana and Masharna and Dracozolt. Those are two spots that are definitely there if I have a party wipe. I don't intend on party wiping on Leon. But if that happens, they'll be in my party. Right. In the meantime, that's all for this episode. I need to go to the bathroom again. Uh, but I will be back to fire up the stream here in just a couple minutes. Uh, so please stick around for those viewers on YouTube. We're getting close to the end. No more than a couple of episodes left here in Pokemon Shield. So look forward to that. Look forward to a successful Nuzlocke run of this game. And start looking forward in a couple of weeks when I start putting out videos of a blind Nuzlocke run of Shining Pearl. But in the meantime, I'll be back in a couple minutes for you, Twitch. YouTube, thanks for watching.